Circus Mercus is about preserving the circus. I've learned a lot about show presence and like how to perform on stage. When help me kind of learn, you know, when you're passionate about something, put everything you've got into it. I knew it'd be hard and I knew it'd be fun and uh, both of those are true. This is completely different, that kind of blows it out of the water, you know what I mean? When people hear you circus, there's a little bit of poo-pooing that goes on, like okay, probably the caliber is at a certain level. The beauty to that is once we get you in the ring, 99.9% .9 of the time we're going to blow you out of the water. We're going to blow your expectations way out of uh, proportion. We stay at homestays, which are families' homes in the area where we're performing. And then on setup days, we come to site, like this morning, and we unload the big truck with all of our props, set up the bleachers, set up the ring, sweep the ring, and then we break for a brunch. And then we come back and we put our makeup on and warm up, get our costumes on, and then it's time for a show. The major difference between what Circus Mercus accomplishes and what other circuses are out there doing is uh, we don't hire acts. We're not bringing people in with pre-made acts. We have 16 days to work classes and create the show that you're seeing in the big top tent right now. Uh, Rob Merman um, was the founder of Circus Mercus, is the founder of Circus Mercus. It is my job to, along with creative director Jesse Dryden, write the show's theme in the off season, um, select the talent um, at auditions, and then uh, um, train the talent. We had rehearsals in all the disciplines and we kind of wrote the show and for three weeks we put it together and then in Greensboro, Vermont, and then we took it on the road. The show has a lot of flexibility because we learn new tricks a lot and you know we're training all the time so um, we learn new tricks and they get into the show or some acts kind of mesh a little or the music changes. And as you get more comfortable with the act it kind of changes because you can add more expression into it um, and it stops being sort of trick, trick, trick and it becomes like a, a piece that you can perform. thing about this year's um, troupe, as you can see walking behind me, we've got a bunch of youngsters. Um, so uh, every year we look to um, fill our uh, show with between 25 and 30 um, uh, performers from around the U.S. or elsewhere. But the general makeup of our troupe is different in that over half of them are here for the very first time. I'm here at Smirkus because my trainer recommended that I try out and come here and she's here on tour this year as well. We bring in an incredibly creative um, team of staff members uh, to come and coach, to give us movement, to give us uh, sound, and uh, through doing so, um, we get a chance to uh, do what in many ways should be impossible, in my opinion. We pull off, ideally, a very entertaining show year after year after year by taking these kids and using them for their multiple skills. Since I've been here, I've learned to do rollabola, uh, Chinese pole, um, working on tramp wall a little bit, um, and a lot of tumbling as well. Uh, yeah, I'm the senior trooper of this tour. I've definitely taken on more of a leadership position this year, just kind of showing everybody the ropes, trying to set a good example of what, what the ideal Smarco should be. Uh, it's pretty amazing. They're, um, they, they go from being very uh, individual and sometimes coming in with a little bit of a competitive nature to understanding that there's no way that this can happen without everybody cooperating with everybody else, without everybody giving their best to the show, uh, without um, helping each other to shine in the ring, without uh, taking responsibility onto themselves for their own safety, for the safety of others. It's really, it's a great experience to have. Um, just not only the performing, but being with the whole group, and it's just kind of like a big family.
These kids have to come to Circus Mercus with the ability to um, step up to the plate with skill, uh, with uh, understanding that uh, this is not about them. It's about their opportunity to share their skills and heart and energy with the audiences that we um, entertain each year. I, I give part of myself to the audience when I'm performing and, and um, I love making them happy. And I feel like if I can do that, I've succeeded. But in addition to uh, performing, uh, these kids actually uh, pay for this experience. They um, have never uh, been turned down if they can't afford it, but somehow we pay for every single kid to be here, whether it's through uh, um, scholarship or 100% um, you know, parental um, uh, coverage of those fees. We're a nonprofit arts organization that's out there doing our best, but we have to try and make a year's worth of salary in a seven-week tour. Um, as a business model, this is a crazy process. Um, as, a, uh, as a circus with heart, there's no other way to get what you've got behind you right here. Um, incredibly passionate people dedicated to what they're doing and working their tail off to make sure that it exists for future generations to come. I'm starting at Montana State University in the fall. Um, but I plan on continuing to train circus and hopefully I'll make it a career after college. And in my future, I'm hoping to stay with the touring circus. It's going to be kind of sad, I think, because going from being with a bunch of friends and um, really tight group of people and training, something that I love to do every day, to like school and then I'll still be training, but it'll be probably a hard transition. It's a big family and everyone is working really hard and loving each other and supporting each other and it's, it was great to come back to that. It's the best example of circus I've ever found. 